This is the uh, Airsoft collection, and it's a pretty good collection. A lot of good guns. Alright, we're going to start it off with this SCAR light machine gun version uh, Airsoft rifle. It's kind of pricey, but it shoots at 420 FPS, and that's just with the standard 8.4 volt or 8.6, whatever it is. Uh, Gold Ball BBs, best ones on the market. Those are .2s. That's a uh, KWA CO2 or really whatever gas-powered sniper rifle. It's modeled after the uh, .30-06 hunting rifle. That's a pretty damn good rifle. Um, that's just a sawed-off Red Rider BB gun. Uh, it looks pretty beast. That's a Hawkson or Hudson uh, double-barreled 12-gauge shotgun. It's a green gas gun but it's real wood and metal body so it's pretty nice. This is a Mossberg 500 Cruiser 12 gauge with a pistol grip. It's okay. It shoots probably at like 210 FPS. It's just a sidearm. That's my Magpul M4. It shoots at 510 FPS. Costs quite a bit of money but that is a damn good rifle. That's a uh, JG M4S system that shoots at about probably like four four hundred FPS, something like that. It's pretty good. A pretty good rifle. Uh, that's just a crappy little M4 that we got from Walmart. It's probably shot at a hundred something FPS. It's not that great. Um. Uh, those are our pistols. A couple of them are broken. The silver Beretta down at the bottom is actually a Rafika. Then up top of that is a Beretta M9 CO2 uh, gas gun. Then up top is a KWA Colt 1911 Classic Army Edition, which is a really, really good pistol. Probably the best out of them all. Below that, the black with the silver breech is a Colt 1911 Classic Army. This is a Springer. It's pretty nice. That one, that piece of crap right there is a Classic Army Colt 1911 with a supersized standard uh, slide on top. That's why it's so long. Um, back to the rifles over here. We have a Galil light machine gun version. I don't have the bipod on it, but it shoots at about 420 FPS also. That's real metal and real Israeli wood. It has Israeli writing on it. The reason the mag release isn't on there is because on that type gun, uh, the mag release is pretty weak. So that's just a warning to whoever wants to buy one. You might as well just get uh, new bolts to put on it or just weld it to the gun, whichever one you were you want to do more. But that was a pretty good gun, too. This is my Thompson M1A1 that I put a real Thompson foregrip on it, making it the 28 typewriter version. That's a pretty good gun. Chops through uh, trees like no other. Doesn't have the best range or the best FPS, but it does chop through anything that you put in front of it. Uh, this is a crappy little uh, battery-operated Uzi. It's not that great. That's a mag clamp right there for uh, AK type weapons or M4s, whichever one. Uh, that's a pretty good um, AK 74U. It's a Crossman, but it's like the best one that I've ever held before or shot. It has a FPS is probably like 290, 310. So that's a pretty good CQB gun for like 99 bucks. So I mean, whatever. Uh, it has a rubberized grip and foregrip, which is pretty nice. That uh, that foregrip right there, or the vertical foregrip, doesn't come with it, but it's a pretty nice ergonomic one. This is a, uh, I want to say CYMA M14 that we converted to kind of look more like an M1 Grand. 
and, uh, and that's pretty good. Lasted a long, long time. And this is our Benelli uh, Super 90, or you guys would know it as the M1014 from Modern Warfare 2. This is a it's a ni it's a nicer prop shotgun than it is a real airsoft shotgun. See, it's broken, so I wouldn't buy it. it Cost 60 bucks. It's probably worth 25. But it's nice because it has a uh, metal barrels and. Uh, that's really kind of it. Everything else is plastic except for the tube right there that connects to the uh, collapsing bipod or collapsing stock. But other than that, it's more just a prop gun. I wouldn't take it to any wars or anything like that. But yeah, that's the airsoft collection. Probably three fourths of these are really, really, really good guns. But all right.